on some tasty shrimp uh, recipes. Of course, who would not want those highly nutritious, finger-licking shrimp? You know that Southeast Asia is producing 75 percent of the world's farm shrimp. Farming shrimp doesn't really come from easy. Why? Because shrimp is minimalistic in nature, and this actually affects its cultural productivity and profitability in agriculture. Cannibalism, or simply feeding on conspecifics, is a common behavior among many crustacean groups. It is considered an opportunistic behavior, mainly associated with insufficient food, space, and most especially when malting. Shrimp, when undergoing malting, are particularly vulnerable to cannibalism, mainly because molten shrimp are immobile and soft until completion of the hardening process of the new carapace. Now, to mitigate impact of cannibalism in shrimp aquaculture, there have been several strategies employed, including the provision of shrimp shelters or commonly artificial substratum. Shrimp shelters or artificial substratum are believed not only to enhance productivity by increasing the surface area to which the shrimp graze upon, but also as shelter or refuge during vulnerable period, which is more commonly used artificial soft bottom or shelters in shrimp aquaculture includes recycled tires, recycled containers, and commonly the PVC frames or tubes. Notice that all these materials are non-biodegradable, hence it is very problematic for disposal after its use. Therefore, the goal of our research is to evaluate the potential of biodegradable plastic as replacement to common non-biodegradable plastic or shelters being used in shrimp aquaculture. We use the biodegradable polybeta hydroxybutyrate or simply PHB plastic that is synthesized by a broad range of microorganisms. PHB is similar to polypropylene in its physical properties but has the advantage of being biodegradable by bacteria into water and carbon dioxide in natural environments. Now, how are we going to make the artificial PHB substratum? We can just simply follow the simple steps. So imagine here this sheet of paper as my PHP substratum. I'm using this one because I don't have the actual specimen. So what I'm going to do is to make a cylindrical hollow tube out from this paper. We can just simply roll this one. And then have this fixed using a paper clip. In actual, we are going to use a cable. So now, you have this individual PHP substratum, which are of course a prototype. And what we're going to do is to combine this to make into a pyramidal shape. This is now your PHP substratum, a prototype. Your PVC substratum, and this one, your PHP substratum. And we can have this PHP substratum immerse in a culture tank without shrimp in order to allow the first microbial colonization, after which we can already use this for our shrimp culture. After the preconditioning period, the PHP substratum is now ready for transfer to our culture tank. Upon our findings, use of PHP substratum could decrease her range between the shortest or the most lightweight shrimp and the longest or the most heavy shrimp of at least 8%. Plus, higher survival as compared to shrimp reared using a non-biodegradable artificial substratum. Enjoy shrimping!